And I know that the owner knew who we both were prior to sending and the difference in our subscriber base. Um, but I feel like it's such a first world problem. Hi, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue. So um, I have a really bad cold at the moment, but I thought I would sit down and have a play of some of my makeup and stay away from Instagram for a little bit. Uh, there's just so many sales going on. There's a lot of sales going on and it's driving me insane. And I thought I would play with something I bought just the other week. And the NYX NYX Bright's Shallow Palette. So I thought, um, Everything that's on my face already will be listed down below. I have primed my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And let's bring you in. I thought I'll have a little chat. And look, I just got my brows done so they finally look a bit more normal. Yay for me! I did not think of what colour to use. So it's starting up, let's just chuck. Oops. Sure that. This one. So how is the you know I really didn't expect Black Friday to be here so quickly, which is stupid. I just was not ready for it. And I managed to avoid buying a lot of things, which I was proud of myself for. And then, because I withheld myself, I went and bought a whole heap of stuff today. So I will film a haul after this. Which, yeah. I always sort of find I do. I will withhold, withhold, not, and be doing alright. And then, I'll let myself, I'll let my defence down. And then I just go mental and do a huge shop. We're going to have a nice little blue look today. So I worked night shift on the Saturday, which was a mix of unfortunate for me because it meant I was awake to see all the sales. And it meant that I didn't really like know what to do well, I don't know no it meant I had too much time to be honest and I ended up compiling I got inspired by Stephanie Nicole and I compiled an entire list of all the indie brands and how much they cost to ship to Australia and what the Australian conversion is and all that sort of stuff because one of the things that I do a lot to myself is I'll look at it in US dollars and I'll be like, oh, that's not that much. That's fine. And then I don't think about the conversion and then realize that it's like way more than I thought. What a weird thing that's going on here. And so I'm getting better at that, but then you also get hit with shipping. I'll put a thing up of like the thing I created. I'll try and make it so I can actually go through it and show you. Well, I don't know what I did in this one. What's going on with this one? But it really helped curb some of my spending because it just made me think like a little bit more about what I was doing. And yeah, I was very good. I did really want the Sydney Grace Co. Autumn Rain palette, but it's so neutral. And every time I looked at it, I was like, I want it because I want to support the brand, but I don't, I don't want it in my collection. So I'm, um, you know, I'm so glad that they got out of the fires okay and that nothing bad happened. That was amazing. And that's really awesome because they are giving 25% of the profit, profit or like 25% of each palette sold is going towards the fire victims, which is really awesome. <laughs> so 
So that was really cool when I was I was tempted to I was tempted to use that as my reason to buy the palette and I did. I did try and talk myself to it. But I opted against it. Um, I didn't even buy any Juvia's Place, which is yeah, abnormal. And I actually feel like I was more restrained this Black Friday than I was last year. And I think that's in part because I know a lot more about makeup and I pay a fair amount more attention to releases and sales. And the end of the day, like there are releases every goddamn week. Um, I do really want some of, I want to try some of the Colourpop Jelly Much shadows, but I've, oh, why do they, I feel like they can't stop releasing things. And I actually haven't bought anything from Colourpop in a fair while now. It's mainly because I just, like I like their shadows, they're nice, but I also like trying a whole heap of new stuff. So for me at the moment, the stuff I like buying are brands I've not tried before. And then I've got, so this blue is way better than the other blue. So um, I did order some shadows from Bombshell Cosmetica. They had 50% off and then it was $20 shipping. Uh, and so it worked out to what the price of buying two palettes would have been for, for me. So I'm looking forward to trying them. They're really colourful eyeshadows. And I bought some Jeffree Star liquid lips. Partially, mainly because Annette keeps using them in her videos as lighter and I really wanted to play with them. So I've got some cool colours coming from that. Oh, and I bought a sugar pill shadow, I'm pretty sure. It was like a 6.50 in the morning purchases. So that'll be fun when that comes in. I don't think I bought much else online. Alright, that blue is pretty nice. I like it. I haven't really fully decided where this look's gonna go. Just gonna do a full blue look. I've just watched two of the shadows. So this is the shimmers. So this is the shimmers. I'm gonna use this shimmer because that's what should look nicer. This one is the blue. And so you can sort of see. I've got them around the other way. So I have swatched this one and this one. They're both shimmers. This one swatched a lot better than that one. So I'd love to know if you bought anything for Black Friday. And I've got to figure out a way, but I'd love to. I'm going to sit down and compare all the prices. Okay, right, well, that's not going to work. So I'm just going to cut the crease. I gotta figure out a nice way to display my whole indie brand thing. And I sort of feel in a way that indie brands are a bit like untouchable. You really don't wanna say anything too negative about a brand. And I do wonder what it is that we expect from these kind of brands. Um, oh, actually, I made an order from another Australian brand that does handmade cosmetics. So the other brand that I bought from before is Enchanted Lustre Cosmetics. And I've ordered from Glamour Natrix Cosmetics, and they are actually based in Queensland. So I'll be curious when they come through. I was a bit disappointed again because when I went to finish the order, it comes through and says, please allow up to three weeks for processing because it takes us that long like you know because they make the shadows after you've ordered them and I feel like we're really accepting this in the makeup world nowadays that brands can do that I and I just I personally I do struggle with that concept but I can understand like a small business owner it's probably something that you need to do but it's pretty shit that when someone tells me that, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be so long till it comes. But I guess I've just gotta go with the flow and accept that that's the way it is. So going back in with this one.
which I guess is like fair but I was a bit disappointed that it only told me that when I was checking out because I would have like would have liked a little bit of warning and then I think I was a bit butthurt too when I watched oh, I feel I feel terrible saying this when I watched Amy Love's makeup her opening of the grab bag because hers was like more nicely packaged than mine and everything was labeled which wasn't the case for mine and I know that the owner knew who we both were prior to sending and the difference in our subscriber base so it just kind of like left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth I think because I just I I really think you should like label the products before you sell them and then to see that she went to the effort to to write them quite clearly out on Amy's order and that like you know like she got the cool purple package and it was a bit you know I feel like it was a, a bit more specially wrapped so it was just um yeah and like because I ended up getting out my dime when labeling them all like that on the back because um, um, yeah I couldn't read the writing and the packaging was oh my gosh, especially when I compare it to someone like Sydney Grace Co who charges a pretty similar price for her singles and she like their packaging's are stunning and then I went and found another video dating way back of a, another show and it's nerdy nerdy crafts and she had a similar problem with the labeling I think yeah and then I saw that the owner had commented and said thanks heaps for that feedback about labeling I'll make more effort to label them and then like she sort of hasn't and she's got that really expensive palette coming out so I don't know I'm just curious um, but I feel like it's such a first world problem but and I did try and like I mean like they smell funny there's just like a strange smell from them and it does like really annoy me how indented they are and like how uneven they all are like they don't even fit like they're all different heights so this is like my Inglot palette but one of them like they don't even really fit in there properly so I don't know they're beautiful they are beautiful shadows but yeah, just it was one of those weird ones. I don't know. It's the first time I've sort of gone through it, and it's it's like a weird feeling. I don't know where this looks going at all. But yeah, so I'm interested to see how Glaminatrix, what their shadows are like and how they come through it'll be you know worthwhile but yeah i'm gonna sit down and try and rank all the indie brands in a row one brand that was really hard to find much information out on was looksy beauty i think and last tribe their palettes some of them are different prices which was a bit weird so i do like stephanie nicole when she does her rankings she will list them like what eyeshadow palette it is and how much that is per grams so maybe I should sit down and do that but I don't know this it was helpful for me to sit down and do it because it sort of made me rethink how much shipping was and how much it's gonna cost me and it, like it entertained me for a while 
So let me know how you would be interested to see the rankings. Like, can you do this to windy brands or like are they sacred? I mean, they should be left alone. <laughs> I sort of feel like they should be. But a part of me feels like if you're putting yourself out on the line selling a product, um, it should be quality. And I know that if I was going to sell a product, I would want it to be really nice and like I'd want the customer experience for them to feel really special. So I don't know, it's just one of those funny things. So I thought I might do like a ranking the price of indie brand shadows. Um, is there any indie brands that you're really interested in? I'll put up the list of what brands I've already sort of ranked and you can let me know what you'd be interested in to see um like who has the best shipping here and stuff like that. i like to australia i did look at the uk too and the us but you guys get free shipping for like everything <laughs> really full out each shadow and this one on this side it's like it looks like it got punched in the face it's just like really inconsistent in the way it's blending and then I think I'm gonna do a whole heap of tag videos coming up and that's solely I feel like I really want to work on my camera presence and my ability to like talk to the camera because I my energy levels like sometimes I'm so low energy and sometimes I'm really high energy and sometimes like for like my Too Faced gingerbread palette like the video that I did the five looks I filmed that intro like three times and then I get like stumbled on my words and it just gets worse it doesn't get better and so it's a funny thing I'm going back in that bright blue color. I'm doing this. I can't. I can't. I've just dipped into that purple again. I can't really envision how I got here. I don't think that shimmer's ever gonna work for me. Well, let's do some spritzing. Hang on, this shimmer. Oh, did I make a vomit color on my eye? I think I did. I was really feeling like a mermaid mood. That was like what happened to me. Like halfway through this, I was like, mermaid. And I feel like this eye is more mermaid y than this eye. It's kind of fun though. I'm entertained by this, even if it's like a terrible eye look. Um, so I should probably fix this afterwards because I was going to fill my haul. Or should I leave it? Because it's entertaining. It amuses me. Um, so. Going in with this shade on my inner corner. And yeah, like, don't get me wrong, like, I do understand the importance of influences and that someone with more subs than me does deserve. Like, you know, if you want to get more exposure, yeah, I would go to more effort. It's just that I don't think it's the most fair when you're not doing that for everyone. But I'd absolutely love to know what you think, like, and am I just being a shit? Huh. This look has come out really, like, interesting. It's a mix of being punched in the eye and mermaid vibes, I think. 
I quite like that green shadow vibe I've come up with on my eye. So much I'm going to intensify it. So we're just going to do some blending with all the shade. Now this is a clean brush and just seeing what happens. So I'd love to know what your hauls were like for Black Friday. Did you stay out of it all and avoid buying anything? And if you did like teach me your ways, how did you achieve that? Um, if you didn't, please tell me everything you bought I'd absolutely I love living through like I love seeing what other people buy and I like I love well, I love hearing what people buy I'm like so obsessed if someone at work tells me they bought makeup I'm like what did you buy what did you get why did you get it or like any you know well yeah I don't have any real life friends or whatever but I love, I, like, I just love makeup hauls and I love talking to people about the makeup they buy and like what makes you buy it. And I don't know, I, like, I feel like makeup is such an easy thing to talk to, about, uh, like, about so many people. But I think I'm gonna have to go on like a really low buy before Christmas. I've got to fly back to Adelaide, uh, which is where I'm originally from. I'm gonna store there. Um, and that's going to be a 500 return flights over Christmas. Plus we have to like rent a car unless I want to learn how to drive manual. It's like a really old manual. It's not like a new manual. Hmm. I think it's quite funny. Whatever I came up with. I'm entertained by it. That purple is a bit shit. And that needs some fixing. I'm just going to grab my Jessup 223, which is a nice, it's mostly because it's small and pointy. And I'm going back into that purple. So yeah, so I'm just going to, I'd like to come out on the other side of Christmas with extra money in my pocket because we're going to Europe at the end of March and it will be really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to save it for that. We've already booked our flights. We haven't done accommodation or anything yet. So I think we probably have to book, we should probably book it in January. I like, just to keep it, you know, organized. And then I know the rest of my money is spending money. But I'm really looking forward to Christmas. Um, do you like Christmas or are you, are you like a Christmas hater? Well, yeah, this is entertaining. So, I mean, there's definitely some duds in there. I feel like proportionally higher duds than normal. I'm gonna go to my eye, the my Eat Cosmetics Super Black Super Hearing Mascara. Yep. I'm looking forward to Christmas and going back home and seeing all my family all week down. Uh, my sister lives in Dubai and she is coming down for a bit. And my parents are in Townsville and they will be down. So it'll be great to catch up with everyone. So for me, Christmas is like a really big family event. And it's also like presents, but I love it because all like my whole family gets together and it's just so nice. Oh, and I have a cute, I forgot the other day to put a pencil on my waterline. So let's do that right now. I've just randomly picked out Dirty Talk from Colourpop, which looks like a gold. with um i hope you've enjoyed this like chatty get ready oh i'm so itchy right now uh, this chatty sort of first impressions 
This is not where I expected this to go, but you know, it's interesting. Let me know what you think of the final look. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much for sticking around. Love to hear from you. Mm.